Hey guys, it's Damien with TheUnlocker.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to return to stock on the HTC Droid Incredible 2. Okay, so before you begin, you must have previously rooted your phone, and you also must have ADB installed. If you don't, you can head on over to our guides, and we'll have you set up in no time. So to get started, we first need to download the stock ROM file. So once it's done downloading, place it on your desktop. Next we need to plug the phone in with the USB cable and select disk drive. Once the download is complete, we need to place it on the root of your SD card. So go ahead and do that and make sure you do not put it in any other files or folders. Now power your phone off and then we need to reboot into fastboot. Okay so with the phone powered off we need to power it back on into fastboot. We're going to do that by holding down the volume down button and the power button at the same time. Once it powers into Fastboot, it should automatically recognize the file that you placed on your SD card. And it's going to load it right now and then when it's done loading it's going to ask you to update it. Okay, so to start the update, we need to hit the volume up button and wait for it to wait for it to be finished. When the phone is done updating, you need to reboot, so simply press power and wait for it to reboot. After the phone reboots, we need to download the unroot package. So download that and place it on your desktop. Once the download's complete, we need to extract the contents of the zip file into your ADB SDK tools folder. So extract them to your desktop. And then we're going to copy them. And then go into your ADB tools folder. And paste them. Next, we need to open up a command prompt window. We're going to do that by going to your start menu, typing in CMD in the search field, hit enter, and now the command prompt window is going to display. Once the window is displayed, we're going to go into your ADB tools directory, so we're going to type the following. Okay, so in the command prompt window, you're going to type the following commands out, hitting enter after each line. And when you do that, the output should be very similar to what you see here. So the next portion, we're going to run the PS Neuter program. This is going to give us temporary root access to flash the stock HBoot. And we're going to do, do that by following the commands that you see here. And then the final output should be identical to this screen. Okay, so to verify that you're back to 100% stock, if you boot back into Fastboot, now at the top it should say ship S on as opposed to before where it said ship S off. <laughs> 